and uh, yeah, this is just their, their, their outdoor feeder, but they eat mostly grass when they're out during the day. Okay, so typically they're, they're eating grass, is that most of the food? So what's in here? What have they got here? This is just, uh, this is just a compound feed, it's, it's organic, okay. uh, organic turkey feed, so it's wheat, right. and uh, it's wheat and maize and uh, a few other grains. Um, but everything is organic in the feed too. Oh God, absolutely, right. yeah, yeah. So how old are these now? Uh, these turkeys are about 11 weeks old at this stage. Right. So what weight would they be now and what weight when they're, when they're ready for, for... They're probably about 8 pounds now at the minute and uh, they'll finish at an average of about 14 pounds. Right. Take. And, and will you do all the processing here or who does all the plucking? We of... do. Uh, we, we dry pluck them ourselves here on the farm and, uh, and we hang them for about a week and, uh, and we, we dress them ourselves then in our own butchery and, and sell them off. Your the own farm. butchery here too? We do, yeah. Right. And then where do they go? Where do you... Uh, we sell a lot. A lot of people just come and collect from the farm, and uh, and then we have some collection points around the country as well right. for people to, to pick up their. Well, turkeys. they're incredibly happy, aren't they? They're obviously so, looked anyway, after well yeah, here. Absolutely. They, they seem to love the grass. Is that important for them? The grass. It is. Yeah, the grass actually it makes up um, as dry matter. It makes up about twenty five percent of their diet, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it makes yeah. a huge difference in terms of the the flavour uh, of of the turkey, yeah. um, and also just for the the health of the turkeys. It's, yeah, yeah. it's what they would naturally yeah. uh, eat. So, so when you compare these with non organic, what's the benefits here? Uh, well, the benefits, I suppose, are in terms of. Uh, firstly, animal welfare. Um, I, th I don't think anybody would disagree that that these turkeys would have a much better quality of life. I mean, they're in their natural environment. They're outdoors. Uh, they're they're eating grass and herbs here, and um, they've shelter from the trees. Um, do you know they're free from free from any kind of stress or worries? Um, and then, uh, obviously. Uh, in terms of flavour of the, the finished product, the, the turkeys are much, uh, a, a much better flavour as well. And how big will they be now? What weight will they be when you when you? When you... Uh, they will average, we'll say, about 14 pounds in weight. 14? Yeah. What are they now, uh, I'd say they're probably about 7 or 8, maybe. Okay, so yeah, half on way, average. nearly halfway. Exactly, yeah, okay. yeah. So these were all born when? Uh, these were born in the at the end of July. End of July. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. they're only four or five months now. Four months. Really? Yeah. Uh, they're not even that. They're two yeah. two and a half months. Oh, uh, two yeah, and about half ten, months. ten or eleven weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. So. Good. I mean, they're, they're all incredibly friendly. Why is that? I mean, they're so tame and interested in us. Yeah, Look at this. I suppose for starters they're all hens, uh, right. which makes a difference. The women tend to be quieter. Yeah, the cocks would be quite really, aggressive now, would they? They, they can be, yeah. 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 Uh, if, the, if these turkeys were conventionally produced, they would spend their entire lives inside. Um, they'd, never, they'd never see a, a blade of grass. Um, and uh, and they'd be they'd be packed in. They'd be they'd be fairly confined as well. So um, so yeah, this is just a, it's a it's a natural way of rearing them. We don't we don't need any um, any medicines or they don't they don't have to be fed any antibiotics or anything like that to, to keep them alive. They're right. they're naturally healthy. Hmm. And it's great that you can have two crops here. You've got the hazelnuts. And you have the turkeys sharing the same amount of land. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, it's actually it's our intention in the future to graze sheep in this area as well. So, um, so I suppose it's, it, it, this piece of land will be performing three. It will have three different functions. Very good. Um, right. And by the way, how do you deal with the fox here? Because I mean, you're in Wicklow. Surely yeah. there's foxes around. Well, there's plenty of foxes around. We've yeah. actually got a, a fox-proof fence all the way around. Uh, okay. All the way around the, the right. range. Right. That will do it. That will keep them out. Yeah. Well. It's great. Uh, Touch wood, it's, it's kept them out yeah, so far anyway. Absolutely. And I suppose there's much less chance of disease spread here too, is there? Absolutely. Well they're out in the out in the fresh air, out in out in the open. Um it's uh do you know it's a it's a kind of a natural natural way of rearing them. So have you taken all the crop now of these hazelnuts already? Yeah, we've harvested these nuts. There might right. be one or there might be one or two left here. There's there's one there, Duncan. Oh great, good stuff. Lovely. 
And I mean, these are much better than the ones that you now would get in the wild. Yeah, they have a much bigger kernel inside as well. So, um, so yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're delicious, they're really good. Good, can I try it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mmm. And you can eat the shell. No, you can't. <laughs> God, I'm eating the shell, it's lovely. Mm. <laughs> 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 head for the dentist now. <laughs>